Hi and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV located in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Larry Vickers. Today we're going to take a look at a 2019 Ram 3500. But before we get into all that, I wanted to give you just a quick history of Dodge and Ram in specific. One thing I really respect about Ram is how high a percentage of American made the trucks are. Last year's data showed that Ram was second over all brands when it comes to the percentage of American made. In 1938, Dodge started its first factory in Michigan. As time went on in 2010, broke off into Ram and Dodge, with Ram being designed specifically for trucks where they could make that their sole focus, as opposed to Dodge, which does the cars and SUVs. So that's the reason of the separation. This specific truck behind me is very unique from the standpoint that it only has 12,000 miles. The trim package on it is the limited edition. So let's start by taking a look up front. As we stand directly in front of the truck, we're gonna notice a couple of things. A very uniquely designed grill, has LED headlights, and if we could take notice the hood, the last couple of years, Ram has really worked on the design of the hood for the purpose of fuel economy. Now let's take a look at the engine. That is the Cummins 6.7 liter engine, coupled with the ISN transmission. This brings 410 horsepower. And as you can tell, the vehicle is running, and we don't usually do that in videos, but I did that for a reason. Notice how quiet the engine is. I mean, you think back into the day with a truck this size, the 35 or even the 2500, how loud they were. That is completely not the case anymore. It is very quiet. We're having a conversation and there's nothing happening. So I just wanted to point that out to you this morning. This is stock number 5U201136. As we take a look at the mirrors right now, we have a trailer hooked up. So we have them set like this, but they're easily put back down. So whatever you're more comfortable with, you can set those mirrors at. As we if the vehicle is locked, all we need to do is have the keys in our pocket and you can either press that button there or open it there. As you notice, when we open the door, the running board came down. A couple of things we can see from here. All the seats are heated or cooled. Right up here is the button to adjust the pedals to make them as high or low as you want. Right here is the light switch. Obviously we just have it set to auto. As we take a look at the back seat, one thing I really appreciate about this truck is how much room you have for a pickup. This is very spacious. There is more storage capacity underneath the seat. You can actually extend that out to a little platform right there. In addition, there's a storage capacity underneath there. Now the previous owner did put in an additional fuel tank, which is right here. And I'll show you when we get inside the gauge to that. Now we fuel the tank, the auxiliary here, and the tank itself gets fueled right there. And as you can tell, right here is where we put in our def fluid. Now we do have the trailer that CJ just did a video on hooked up. And that's strictly to give you a visual effect of how this truck is supposed to work. A very nice trailer that they did. So if you have any other questions about the trailer, feel free to give us a call here at the store. But let's take a look at the setup. The truck does come with a gooseneck hitch already in place. Now there's a backup camera right up here, which made hooking up the trailer very simple. 
I realize we don't have safety chains and things like that hooked up. It's just hooked up strictly for the purpose of the video. The light connection is right down here. Now as we walk through, we're gonna get a close view of the hitch for a bumper pull trailer. With less than 12,000 miles, obviously these are the original tires. This truck is a dually. It comes with 285, 80, R17 tires. As we take a look in the back seat, again, the running boards come down. It comes with the limited edition floor mats on this side as well. There's a little platform right here with cup holders there in the middle. Underneath is our speakers as well as the speaker here and one on the other side on the doors. Let's take a little closer look at the inside. The first thing that really jumps out at you once you sit in the truck is the screen. That is a 10 inch screen. So that makes things very visible and very easy to navigate. For example, right there is the radio, climate control right there to determine not only how hot you want it, but where the air to come out. Just as all Rams, it goes off the Uconnect system. So this gives us various options of what we want to do. There's the heated seats for the driver and passenger side right there. Heated steering wheel is right there. Backup camera is right here. That is for the bumper pull. Right there is for the gooseneck. We can also adjust how high and low we want the, the fan to go right there as well. Now if we pan up real quick, there's several things up here. This up here is predominantly lights. Now this does come with a sunroof right here, and right here is how we would adjust that to open or close it. A unique thing about this truck is it does come with airbags. So right here is the remote for those. So if we want more air in it, just simply press that, or less air in those bags, we press that right there. Obviously the truck is four wheel drive. Right now we have it in two. We can adjust it to either low or high right here. This is our trailer brake. This is tow, tow haul assist. This is our exhaust brake here. Now if you wanted to hook up additional things to it, you can actually hook up six more things. For example, a radar detector, more cameras, things like that. There are six additional auxiliary ports right here. This is DVD, USB plug right here. Now there is more storage available in here. And that actually pops up again. So there's more storage underneath that. Right here is another storage compartment for change, things like that and a couple of cup holders right here. So as you can tell, guys, in this extremely nice truck, to be exact, it has 11,210 miles. So that enables us to do a couple of things. First off, somebody else bought the truck new. So as you well know, driving anything off the, the lot new takes that value down. So we're gonna be able to basically get a brand new truck for a, a less amount of money. 
Second of all, there's a ton of warranty left, and I have all that documentation ready to go for the per person that purchases the truck to show you exactly how much warranty is left. So if you have any other questions on this truck or anything on the lot, please feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is Larry Vickers. My cell phone number is 970-370-4067. The work extension, 303-684-3404. Or feel free to email me, larry.vickers at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in today.